Good morning, everyone. Happy Sabbath. Welcome to another Sabbath of worship. Shall we read together our Sabbath thoughts this morning? O oh Lord, Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you. I will praise your name, for you have done wonderful things. Your counsel of old are faithfulness and truth. Isaiah 25, verse 1. Shall we pray? Dear God, thank you for the privilege of singing songs for your glory. Thank you for the blessings. In Jesus' name, amen. For our song of celebration, let us sing to God be the glory. Church of No. Number 227. Amen, sir. Gamay kayo na inalimtan. 
palihog lang mga care group leaders, mga care groups, o sa itong mga kaigsunan, alang sa ugma na itong event, ay lagkalimte ang kutsara, tinidor, baso o plato. Daghang salamat. Welcome everyone to Spook Garden Church. We are so glad you have chosen to join us as to join us today as we worship the Lord together and have fellowship. These are the parts in the participants of our program. The meditation was given by Brother Rivdan Mix El Kapapas. Then the song of celebration will be led by our song leaders. We will all join in singing the Sabbath hymn, Introit and Hymn of Adoration. After which, Brother Kian E. Makiwan will offer the invocation. Sister Mikaela Antonit Mungaya will read the stewardship thoughts and while our deacons and deaconesses will receive the tithes and offerings. We will be offered by an instrumental music by Brother Yuan Cart Aguilion. Then we will all be singing our hymn of gratitude. The offertory prayer will be said by Brother Axel Alray Perez. The scripture reading will be given by Brother Eugene Daniel de la Peña. After that, we will sing the prayer hymn. The pastoral, pl the pastoral player Prayer will be said by Brother Heshbon El Buscato II, and the prayer response will follow by the congregation. The kids will be given a time to hear a story through Sister Fabe Maki Ardaiham. Then we will be favored to hear a special music by the Spook Kids and Friends. We will hear God's message this morning through His chosen servant as His mouthpiece, Brother Bluzel Ace Artanyada. After our speaker, we will be singing our closing hymn to be led by our song leaders. The benediction will be offered to God by Sister Sophia Siban Anjali Gamali. And after the prayer, the congregation will sing the triple amen and we all join in singing our song of hope. Our song leaders are Sister Sophia Siban and Senea Joy Mamak. And at the piano are Sister Steph Kasaira Kalibod and Kazel Pueblos. Your presider, Brother Resnil Tilagata. Our, flo our floral offering is sponsored by Sister Leonor Apjan and family. Before I take my seat, here's a quote from Shelley Miller, which reads, When you abide with God in Sabbath, an unshakable confidence shines from the inside out, enticing others toward the gift of rest as well. And in Psalms 100, verse 24, it says, This is the Sabbath, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. May God's abiding presence through the Holy Spirit be in our midst. Love the Sabbath storm and worship at thy will. Oh, may this our sweet peace of all and be perfect and still. Praise for thy wondrous love that sealed this sacred day. A sun that all may. the Lord.
his name. No one does he lay thy burden of carefulness. High on his heart he will bear it for thee. Comfort thy sorrows and answer thy prayerfulness. Guiding the steps as may best for thee be. Fear not to enter his course into slenderness of the poor weather whose wreck and as thine. Truth in its beauty and love in its tenderness. These are thy offerings to lay on his shrine. Mornings of joy give for evenings of tearfulness. Just for our trembling and hope for our Let us all kneel down to pray. Our dear Father who art in heaven, thank you for the Sabbath day. As we continue our divine worship, may our holy angels be with us. Lord, we are grateful to be gathered together today to worship your holy name. We offer our worship and adoration to you, for you are worthy to be praised. We lift our voices together to offer you all that you are due. Thank you for bringing us together today to worship in this place. Bless the speaker to deliver his message to us. Thank you for hearing and answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our tithes and offerings readings is found in Psalms 145, verse 15. The eyes of all look to you, and you give them their food at, their, at the proper time. We worship God with our resources because He often makes provision for our needs, even, even before they arise. In a dream, the Lord informed Pharaoh about the seven years of severe famine that would strike Egypt. However, before the beginning of crisis, he provided the seven years of abundance under the inspired leadership of Joseph. They could save the surplus and adequately prepare for the crisis. God provided before the need. Joseph told his brothers about the God who acted in anticipation. But God sent me ahead of you to preserve for you a remnant on earth and to save your lives by a great deliverance. Genesis 45 verse 7. Our needs and emergencies of today never takes God by surprise or put him off balance. During the COVID-19 pandemic, a family had witnessed how God acted in anticipation of their needs because they were staying in a foreign country. The wife had to renew her employment authorization. The process took much longer than expected. After a few months of waiting, her current work authorization expired and she was ter terminated from her job. The family budget was not balancing anymore. At first, they thought that the authorization would come in a few days. It was not so. Interestingly, exactly seven months before she lost her job, the week that many companies were closing down and dismissing employees, causing a record high unemployment rate, she miraculously held onto her job. This allowed the family to consolidate their emergencies 
fun, not knowing the challenge they would soon face. Regularly, they would check the status of her application. The waiting time grew from three months to four months to five months and finally up to nine months. It was testing time. During the extended time, their consolidated emergency fund kept them afloat. More accurately, it was the work of God who made provision even when their needs arose. This week, as we worship with our tithes and regular offerings called promise, let us show our gratitude to the provider who already has solutions for our unnecessary crisis. Stand. The stand is that his kids we brought. These are thy loving as I brought. Let's do our plans to the sun. Our cost we serve thee more. We do rejoice. Amen. to you with thankful hearts and in joyous praise. As we return your share, we surrender our whole beings to you in worship and adoration. May these gifts multiply and that everyone can benefit from them. In Jesus' most holy name we pray, Amen.
Our scripture reading this morning is found in Ecclesiastes 7, verse 1. A good name, it says, a good name is better than fine perfume. Dear Lord, we still have so much to learn. Every day, allow us to learn from our parents, from our teachers, and from the Bible. As they let us use the things we learn to make your world and a better place. We thank you for your son, Jesus, the best friend. This word has ever had and we will try to know him better now and always amen everyone. My story today is entitled, More Prayer, More Power. How many times do you pray in a day? Three, five, six, were your prayers answered? a girl who loves to play with her little sisters. A girl who loves to share toys with her friends and with everybody. A girl who is very helpful in to other times of need. 
A girl who really loves her parents and obedient to the rules in the house. A girl who is used by God to do his ministry through media platform. A girl who is a good example to her sisters. That's how she was described by her parents. What do you do when you get sick? Are you allowed to go out? One day, these three sisters got sick, and three of them just slept in the house and did not go out to play with their friends. They have fever, cough, diarrhea, and some of them were also vomiting. First aid medicines were given by the parents, but still their body temperatures were so high. The parents just observed them for how many hours while doing the first aid. But during the second day of fever with all the symptoms, this girl experienced convulsion and seizure. Her body was so pale and seemed like frozen, but with very high body temperature. Do you know the first aid for high fever? Yes. Cold compress was the first aid given by her mother. Then she was rushed to the hospital. She could not talk. She could not feel anything and was so disoriented. That's why the doctor suggested that she should be admitted in the ICU because the initial finding was meningitis and she needs to be monitored every now and then. What do you think is the condition of a patient who is admitted in the ICU? Mild? Moderate or severe? The worried parents then ask their friends for a special prayer for this little girl, for they believe that more prayer, more power. Do you also believe that, that the doctor promised that he will do all that he can to save this girl and hopefully the bacteria cannot enter the brain. The parents always the parents always believed in the power of God. That's why they always knelt down and cried to God for healing. They were so worried because this child cannot recognize them anymore. The most painful procedure this girl underwent was a lumbar tap. What is this? A thin and long needle around six inches was inserted in her spinal canal in order to extract some fluid from her brain. So the parents continued to ask for more earnest prayers for the healing of this child. After all the medical laboratories have been done, the results gave hope to the parents that this child would be okay. Were the prayers answered? After more than three days in the hospital, this girl was able to recognize her parents and realize that she was in the hospital. All of the prayers were answered. Her brain and her heart were good and was not harmed. Though she could not walk properly because of dizziness due to the effect of medicines, she was able to go back home happily with her parents. Do you know who that girl is? She is standing in front of you today. God is really a powerful and He is our great physician. And the peace. According to Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 to 7, it says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. More prayer, more power. Thank you for listening, and God bless everyone.
sind. Wie sind wir?
Good morning, everyone. Happy Sabbath. Kamu, uh, kamu mga igsuon. Wow. Today we will learn something is better than a fine perfume. What's in a name? Has anyone ever asked you what your name means? Do you know what your name means? When your mom and dad found out that they were going to have a baby, they spent a lot of time choosing a name. They may have looked through a book that gives the meaning of name. My name is Blusil Ace, and I discovered my name is a combination and two names. The names of my dad and mom. My name is composed of ten letters. B-L-U-Z-I-E-L-A-C-E. -E. In my first name, you can see the name of my mom, Yuzal. And the rest, if you assemble it together, it's my dad's name, Caleb. Here's the meaning of Caleb. Meaning, wholehearted. Origin, Hebrew. Gender, boy. Pronunciation, Caleb. How about Yuzal? Meaning, God is my power. Origin, Hebrew popularity, familiar, gender, boy. See, my name is so special, wholehearted, and God is my power. Have you ever heard an expression? Your name will be Mud. Do you know where it is originated? Samuel Alexander Mud was a doctor who said, John will cast both leg after Booth assassinated Abraham Lincoln in Ford's Theater in 1865. Mud claimed that he didn't recognize Booth. Did he really know him? But a military court thought otherwise. He was found guilty as an accessory after the fact in the assassination and was sentenced to life in a federal prison. But that's not the end of the story. While in prison, Mud saved the lives of many prisoners and guards during a yellow fever epidemic. In 1865, he was pardoned by the president, Andrew Johnson. However, his name persists to this day as one of the, the reasons. A name is a hard thing to shake, and so the repetition it stands for. Ecclesiastes 1 says, a good name is better than a fine perfume. Also, Proverbs 21 verse 1 says, A good name is more desirable than great riches. In our scripture passage, we have two men spoken of by Apostle John. For all time, they have the repetition found in these few verses. It doesn't really matter if they change or not. Their names and therefore... Their repetition are forever attached in history. Do you profess love to be first, prejudice, malicious gospel, inhospitable, evil? Demetrius, verse 12, well spoken of by everyone, the world as well as the church, implies consistency. Which name would you like to bear? Demetrius, of course. Each one of us three carries three names. Number one, the name others give us. Number two, the name God give us. And number three, the name we give ourselves. Number one, the name others give us. Parental name, nickname given by our friends or enemies. Marital name, special name given by our sweetheart or yeah, sweetheart. Name that describes one character or reputation. Negatively, stingy, lazy head. Positively, sunshine. Bible examples, Demetrius Onesimus, meaning useful. Onesiphorus, meaning refresh. Sometimes we deserve a reputation. Sometimes we don't. But once given, it is hard to change the image it conquers up. 
In 1864, a train was pulling out of the station in Jersey City, New Jersey. A young man who was late tried to board the train as it was moving out. He slept and began to fall. A man who was on the train reached out his hand and caught him. The young man who was trying to board was Robert Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln's son. And the man who saved him was Edwin Both, John Wilkes Both brother. When the news of this reached out the White House, he sent a personal note of thanks. And the press picked it up. And Edwin Both became a bit of celebrity. It really helped his career as an actor. But a year later, after the assassination, he was so ashamed for his name and fear for, for his life that he went into hiding for quite some time. Eventually, he returned to the stage and was later recognized nationally of his outstanding career on the stage. I repeat, a good name is better than a fine perfume or great riches. The second name is the name God's give you. The na this name is based on two factors. Number one, our relationship with God. And number two, our inner character. Isaiah 56 verse, verse 5 says, I will give them an everlasting name that will not be cut off. Isaiah 62 verse 2 says, The nation will see your righteousness, and all the kings you will glory, you will be called by a new name. Revelation 3.12 Him who overcomes, I will make a pillar in the temple of my God. Never will he leave it. I will write on him the name of my God the new Jerusalem which is coming down out of heaven from my God and I will write on him my new name. God has been in the changing business for quite some time. He changed Abram, deceiver, to Abraham, father of many nations. He changed Sarai, contentious, to Sarah, meaning princess. He changed Jacob, deceiver, to Israel, having power with God. He even, he even gave new names for his disciples. Simon, hearing, to Peter, rock. James and John, son of thunder. He even changed the title of his followers from servant to friend. What name do you suppose Jesus has given you? When Napoleon horse ran away, a lowly private caught him, and Napoleon said, Thank you, Captain. The, the soldier at once packed his belongings and moved to the higher quarters and went to mess with them. The emperor called him Captain, and he considered himself just that. It is not appropriate for them to pack their belongings and move to the higher life which God has appointed them, we have been given by a new name. The third name is the name you give yourselves. How do we give ourselves a name? In two primary ways. Number one, by an act or will, by the choices we make. If we decide for Christ, we will receive certain name. Christian, disciples, meaning learners, apostle, witness, or missionaries, born again, believer. Number two, by the, by, by the way we conduct ourselves, what we do or don't do, where we go, how we treat others. A young man who was asked to preach for a pastor who was on vacation, he chose his text, Thou shalt not steal. The church was full of many visitors, and the message was well received. The next morning, the same young preacher boarded the bus and handed a dollar bill to the driver and went to the back of the bus. 
took his seat and counted his change. He realized that he was being given too much. He thought that they will never miss this small amount. Besides, it's their fault that they can't make change properly. And the Holy Spirit spoke to him. And he went to the driver and said, You gave me too much change. The driver answered, I know I did. I was a visitor in the church yesterday. I heard your sermon. When you stepped on the bus today, I wanted to see if you preach what you have lived. I wanted, I wanted, I watched you in the rear view mirror. I made up my mind that if you weren't honest, I would never enter a church again. How important it is that we remain consistent in our Christian witness and conduct. We never know who is watching. It takes to build a reputation, and it can be lost in just a moment. King David is a case in point. He was a man after God's own heart. He was the spiritual leader of his country, held in high esteem by all. But in a moment of weakness, he lost his reputation. May God help us to have a good name, a name which is honored by all. May the name Christian, Christian be all that implies one who follows Christ in every aspect of life. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, in behalf of the SPUC kids and friends, thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry, kaya makaisunan kay medyo. There I go, We've been these kids for two years during the COVID uh, with Teacher Bon. Um, from Sabbath School Divine, grabe good ang amo ang kuan aning mga kids. Ang amo bitang, what do you call this one? <laughs> Um, so thank you, Kaayo, and um, kung sa wala makabalok for two years during sa COVID, ang mga bata dito ni sila nag-separate sa ila ang uh, divine service and Sabbath school. And dito nakalearn sila, nagwali, tanan ila ang mga kaigsunan. So dasig kay ni sila every Wednesday, Friday, so dasig jud kay. So kami pud madasig kay, despite nga ulan. Mato sa balay, auntie Ann, please. So, bangun. Active kayo na sila makaigsunan. So, this time, mauna ni among last, last nga mag-uban sa divine service kay uh, effective January, back to normal na kay back, uh, wala na may COVID. So, ang Sabbath school, uh, lahi na ang cradle, lahi na sa before mang good, nausa siya makaigsunan. So, for our closing song, akong gi-request ang mga parents, ani mga kabataan, to sing with them uh, as, as as they sing look at the world so katong mga parents sa at mong mga kids kung pwede makauban mo sa inyong mga kids there is a front and magkanta ta sa ilang closing prayer look at the world thank you Thank you. 
Let us all stand and pray. Let us bow down our heads for prayer. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this blessed Sabbath day. We thank you for the message we have this day. May you protect each one of us as we go to our respective houses. May you bless us all. Bless us with all your love and care. Guide us as we go to different paths. May you give us peace in our hearts and minds. Thank you for hearing our humble prayer. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Bye, everyone.